We'll do some more pop pop boats. So I've had a quick walk along our local footpath and picked up a few tins or cans, drinks cans that have been discarded. So I shall wash them off and then cut them open so we've got some flat sheets of aluminium. One of them I did notice was actually tin or steel magnets stuck to it. That was a surprise but having said that you can see it's gone rusty. That must be a pretty old one. Probably no use but I just picked it up because you don't see tin cans very often, not ones that rust. They're all aluminium now. Well that's given them a basic wash on the outside and shaken out as many of the creepy crawlies that were inside. What I'll have to do now is cut them open, flatten them and get rid of anything else that's left inside. Sort of thing you get in there will be slugs and snails. Snails get stuck in there because they grow too big and can't get out the hole. Slugs can usually get out, but uh, there are quite a few in there. So, I'll cut them open. Just to give you a rough idea, there you are, that's the inside of one of them. A fair bit of dirt in there. No creepy crawlies, but actually this one did have slugs in it. That managed to escape through the, um, through the hole at the top. I've got a bit of a routine going now, or sequence, so I might just show you what I'm doing. Um, this one's in a bit of a state, it won't cut quite so nicely, but we'll use it because the only other ones I've got left are these smaller, thinner ones. So we'll try this one. I've been starting at this end, cutting all the way around, and then cutting that end then splitting it so we can fold it flat and then giving it a clean on the inside because they're usually full of dirt. The knife, just a cheap knife. I start off with the blade short so I can make the hole and then I lengthen it and we can actually slice in quite a long um, slice in one go. So start off small. So as, you, as you push it in, it's slicing downwards. Obviously you want to keep your fingers out of the way. Well that one's practically clean inside. It folds up a bit and you can't quite slice it nicely. Finish off with my scissors. And then I cut it straight up the middle somewhere. Just clean that one off. Brush. And 
Yeah, I'm doing it on some old newspaper to soak up the water. So, one, two, three, four, five, six so far. Now I've got to do these little tins. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.